Hello fellow feathered friends! Freshly started into the new year, we want to begin with a new playlist. This playlist is all around Linux and Windows as your daily operating system. Which OS do you use for what? What are the differences of interest? And how do you optimize or customize both workspaces? Unfortunately, we don't own any Apple hardware, so we will not really talk about the macOS and its up and downs. But first, as always, a shout out to our Patreons, or other our last guardian of the patronage. <laughs> no, just fun. But my king supported us nearly from the first days until now. This is just so amazing, thank you a lot. So, let's jump into the overview of the next playlist. If you ask yourself the questions, should I care about my operating system, or is it unimportant for me, or which one is the best operating system for me to do this or that, then this playlist will hopefully provide enough information to help you decide. But we are pretty sure that everybody can learn something new in this playlist. We don't want to say that A is better than B, but more like how to optimize all your workflows by optimizing your work environment. Be it more performance in gaming, faster workflows through different tools, a full custom desktop environment, or the need to develop games cross-platform for Linux and Windows. Nowadays, a lot of crazy stuff is possible with your operating system, and just waiting for you to uncover it. But at the end of the day, the only relevant is that you get your stuff done, and that as fast, easy and reliable as possible. To deliver a fast start into the playlist videos, we want to clarify some basic knowledge around the common problem, Windows versus Linux. Let us start with a simple comparison between the common operating systems. Trivial because the devil is in the detail of the different architectures under the hood, but this is far too much input for now. So Windows. Why should you use Windows 10? First, it's very accessible. For example, uh, the controls are also possible with gesture or voice. It also supports bleeding edge hardware like RDNA 2 or Zen 3. It also provides better support for professional software like Unreal Engine or Adobe Software. You can play almost every game as long as you can deliver the hardware requirements. And mostly every pre-built laptop or PC has a Windows Home license. So, why shouldn't you use Windows? When pre-configured, Windows is a pure data leech. Also, the installation comes with over 20 useless apps like Call or the Alarm app. It also interrupts your work with updates, restarts or Defender hard drive scans in the most inconvenient moments imaginable. Also, it's a real dependency hell through the decentralized libs and DLLs. Like, you notice it when you can't start your favorite game because some DLL or similar are missing. At this point, you have to search the internet and install the right libs manually. Or when you have a C++ project with some dependencies, you have to take care of the correct reference links to these libs. And last but not least, a new license costs money. So now we go for some reasons why you should consider a Linux-based distribution. First, it provides a very lightweight and highly customizable desktop for better workflows. It's also perfect for do-it-yourself projects or low-power PCs since the Linux kernel runs nearly on any hardware. You can also learn a lot about how software and operating systems work. You got no dependency hell like with Windows, so programming gets a lot more easier. It also provides high security and privacy through central package repos and package manager. And it's free, and by the way, the cheapest and most reliable way to develop servers. But there are also some downsides of Linux. Maybe you need some fresh installs because it is easy to break the system. Like, for example, by deleting system files as root user or similar. It takes some months until Uncommon or the latest hardware is supported by the kernel. Also, gaming on Linux is difficult. Proton and Wine support the most low-performance games, but a big amount of the modern games simply don't run well. 
Also, network gaming is hard since some games expect all players to have the same operating system. Otherwise, the network desyncs and crashes. One special phenomenon around Linux are the thousands of different distributions of Linux. This is an up and also a down for the user. Since the Linux kernel is completely open source, everyone can build their own user land on top of it. It means another desktop environment, look and feel, and pre-delivered toolset. This variety is truly very confusing, but for a simple everyday usage you can stick with Debian, Ubuntu or Manjaro. And as an advanced operating system with a specific toolset, you have distros like Parrot OS, Void Linux or Linux Tails for example. In conclusion, you can say, in some way, each possibility is very helpful on their own. On the one hand, you have a huge variety on Linux distros, from which the most are very smart, lightweight and customizable. If you invest some time for research and some troubleshooting. So, all in all, perfect for programming, working with Godot and Co, or for some low-performance gaming after work. And on the other hand, you have the paid Windows 10 operating system. Other as on Linux, the most professional software is directly optimized for Windows. In general, Windows 10 feels really overloaded and slow, but it doesn't really matter, you just have to kind of smash Windows into the ground and build it up again. After that process, Windows can be a comfy, reliable system. With that said, let's come to an end for this video. You notice there are many details to tell, and at the end of the playlist you hopefully have all the information you need to find your favorite operating system for your specific needs. Feel free to share your thoughts about it in the comments. For our part, we are really excited to present all this knowledge to you birdies. As always, leave your questions, suggestions and comments below, and we hope we see us in the next video. Bye!